Who? What's up, guys? Welcome to season four, episode eight of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Talks, and joining me, as always, is a man who's got no way out of doing this series with me on YouTube. We got J Mac Gaming. Chad, what a show we have in store. Because not only do we have to go up with you, but we have to go up with last year's No Way Out, which got a 98. Oh, man. Chad, which included, let's go from the bottom to the top, Chad. Joey Matthews winning the pre show belt. Okay. The Gentleman's Club defeating Jamie Noble and TNT. Uh, Takako defeating Yoshi, or Toshi, Yamatsu, not Yoshi. Perry Saturn defeating the Warlord. Ugh. Liger over Cena. Oh, I ain't got an 89. Orton over Christian Cage, Chad. Shawn Michaels defeating Brian Danielson. And then, the, yeah, you know. That was Shawn Michaels' last match the, in WWF. The Rat Boys defeating La Resistance to retain the belts. Psychosis winning the SmackDown Elimination Chamber match to make himself the number one contender against Eddie Guerrero at WrestleMania, Chad. We also had Stone Cold and Taka defeating CM Punk and A Steel in a 100 rated match. Wow. It's crazy. Oh, that was Taka's last night, too. And Taka won the bounce and then left. Huh? That little rat fucker. And our main event, The Rock defending the World Heavyweight Championship against Kurt Angle, Jeff Jarrett, Mark Henry, DeMonico, and Kane in an Elimination Chamber match, setting up The Rock versus Brock at WrestleMania. What will WrestleMania have in store for us this year? We have to find out because we have to go through No Way Out first, Chad. What a show this is going to be. What a show. Let's get into it. We start off with the pre-show championship on the line in a battle royale. Danny Basham retains the belt, oh. Chad, in a random battle royal, as it always is, defeats everyone in it. The final four were D'Lo, Ryo, DeAlesco Jr., and Chris Sabin, with D'Lo Ron being the final elimination. Sabin, most eliminations in the match. So Danny Basham, two-time. Or, well, not guess two times. He's still number one. But gets to defend his belt, Chad. Hell yeah. We move on. Scotty Tuhati defeating Lenny Lane in the pre show, Chad. Nothing. Good for Scotty Tuhati. Chad, Chad had nothing to say about that <laughs> match right cool. there. Chad could not give a single fuck about either one of these cool, guys. Cool, I guess, huh? <laughs> and our last pre show match, we have Yuki, Miyazaki, Toshi, Umatsu, and Miko Salamora defeating Taylor Matheny, and Alicia Webb, and Alice in Danger. Do you have a name for this table yet? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We will. Chad, we will. All right. That was the end of the pre-show, Chad. We are getting to the main card here, Chad. Here we go. You know the hype package. You know the hype package. Rock Austin, or uh, Rock and Taker taking on Foley and The Rock and Kurt Angle, Stasiak. We see the P the Intercontinental Championship uh, Elimination Chamber match. We have a Steel CM Punk Street Fight. And a, a match that just got announced earlier tonight on WWF.com. Teddy Hart taking on Chad Collier one-on-one -on -one action. Tonight. Oh, I swear to God, if you do me wrong like this. But we start off, Chad. Am I doing predictions? or? Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. well, of course, Chad. Why would we not be? Why would we not do predictions, Chad? Yeah, I don't know. Why would we? It's a good gimmick. I like it. I, I'm usually always right. That's not entirely true. All right, let me get my book. That's not usual. That's all right. Let me get my book right here, Chad. Get closer to the mic, buddy. Chad, it's Kurt Angle. Yes. It's Sean Stasiak. Yes. I don't really need to get into it, this storyline here. Sean Stasiak telling Kurt Angle he doesn't have it in him. And Kurt Angle saying, Sean Stasiak, the only, you don't know what anyone else has in him because you're only looking at yourself, you little scumbag bitch. The winner of this match goes on to WrestleMania. To face Brock Lesnar for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship, Chad, who do you got? I still don't think we've seen Stacey at Brock Lesnar in a full blown rematch yet. So no, we have not. I am going to say that's the Mania match. I'm going to say Sean Stacey. Chad's going to win. go with Sean Stacey. Everyone, put your predictions down below. And in an unbelievable match, Sean Stacey Hell defeats yeah. Kurt Angle and punches his ticket to WrestleMania. He will be taking on Brock Lesnar for the WWF World Championship. And Kurt Angle, once again, cannot get it Gosh. done. Can't win a big one. Kurt Angle's a loser. <laughs> Always losing. Take it back, Chad. I mean, he's great in real life. In this save, he's a loser. Wow, that's crazy, Chad. That's crazy. He, what has he won? The, the hearts of many. 
sure. That's not going to help you win a championship. What? Uh, you don't know that yet. He's got grit, Chad. He's got grit. <laughs> and you know how much you love grit. I love grit. grit. Big win for Sean Stasiak, Chad. A, a big win. So big that Brock Lesnar comes out and F5 Sean Stasiak. Good. Tells him how it is. He throws his cowboy hat at Stasiak. Because he's wearing a cowboy hat here in the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. 20 thousand strong here in the united standard chad good wow wow we move on the number one contender tag team match for the smackdown tag team championships it's cw anderson and johnny storm team slaughter the team the young up-and-coming talented team from tna they take on team the the the, the departed led by kane snitsky gangrel and don Callis. we've seen snitsky and kane go on a roll but in singles match last week, we saw C.W. Anderson tap out the big red monster, which has led many to believe that these guys can actually get the upset win over T- the departed. Chad, who do you got? Who will face La Resistance later on in this year for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship? I think this one could go either way, but you've been really high on Team Slaughter, so I'm going to say Team Slaughter gets the win here. Chad, we'll go but with if t- I'm wrong, I'm not shocked. Chad, we'll go with Team Slaughter in a match that didn't have much heat. He instantly read the result instead of letting me tell him. I love that, Chad. You wouldn't know that. I didn't say anything. You went, oh. <laughs> you did. You went, mm. oh, yeah. Mm. Am I wrong? I mean, I did. But yeah, that's, 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 I, mean, I, still, I still don't think they would have heard it. But anyway. it's not, I'm not worried about them. It's for me, Chad. It's for me. Oh, okay. It's for me, Chad. Team Slaughter defeats the departed here in 1511. When C.W. Anderson pins Gene Snitsky here, Chad. Big match. Big win for Team Slaughter here, Chad. Yeah, big win. Big win. Poor Kane. Poor Kane. We move on. Another loser. <laughs> Speaking of losers, it's the Chicago Street <laughs> Fight, Chad. Yeah, These guys. Speaking of losers. <laughs> two members, uh, two, two guys who have held the Raw Tag Team Tag Division in their arms. One of two of the greatest superstars ever set in the ring in, ta- in the tag team division. Two time tag team, tag team champs. One time 100 club member. These guys have done it all, but we've seen their tag team kind of dissolve and crumble the last few months, and it all came apart at Royal Rumble when they lost before the Rumble, and then they eliminated each other at the Rumble. And now, Chad, Ace Steel called CM Punk a loser, called him, he called him up, carried him on his back. You know, he was always biting to get him out of the, got him, getting out of the arena. You know, he threw a chair at him, you know, everything. And then we saw CM Punk said, we we're going to do this right. A Chicago street fight, which in turn led to last week where A Steel burned down CM Punk's childhood home. That is extremely fucked up here, Chad. It is. And that leads extremely. me to ask you who is going to win this match of pure hatred, of an absolute grudge match between these two guys? Um, I know how much of an A Steel guy you are. Mm-hmm. You're a big A Steel guy, he's a bounty hunter. The big game hunter. The big game hunter. But that's CM Punk. And Burn that's, and that's, and and that's Chicago. So I'm going to say CM Punk. Chad's going to go CM Punk in this one-on-one street fight. And Ace Steel. Yeah. Gets it done. Hits him with the steel spike right below the bean. He actually threw him into the bean and then hit him with a steel spike, Chad. All right, well. Good for but that, was, for that wasn't a fish. The Hopefully finish. you can get a new house. <laughs> uh, the end of this match, uh, they're by CM Punk's dead house. Oh, no. And uh, that's where he dead hits the steel spike. A sp- steel spike. He pins them one, two, three in the middle of Chicago, Illinois. And then after the match, Ted, Ace Steel, steel lights the, the burnt ashes, the, the cookie crisps of the house, lights them back on fire. <laughs> He's burning ashes. And he throws CM Punk in it. Oh, no. <laughs> Just threw CM Punk on fire. We move on. Paul White and Jeff Jarrett, Chad. This is a random feud that I threw together because Paul White attacked and beat up Jeff Jarrett's protégés. He embarrassed them in a one-on-two handicap match, and Jeff Jarrett did not find that. He did not take that too kindly. And now he called out Jeff. He called out Paul White. They had a good on three-on-three match last week. Jeff Jarrett, Jabalowski, and Skipper, JJS. SJJ, I don't like that. JJS or JSJ, I don't know. 
I don't know. You know, who knows? Uh, and then Paul White attacked them all. So now we get this match here. Jeff Jarrett, Paul White. Who do you got? Uh, I'm going to go Jeff Jarrett. Why? Um, because I feel like he's got this, this new little group going. And I think you're going to want to push that group. And what better way to push that group than getting a big win over Paul White? That's fair. Paul White, the world, the first SmackDown world champion. True. And in a 96 and exceptional match, Jeff Jarrett defeats the big man after Jemilowski and Skipper distracted Paul White. And that let Paul White get distracted enough to get put into the figure four, Chad. And Jeff Jarrett gets a big win here, tapping out the big man. Yeah. In 1659. Big win for Jeff Jarrett. Big win. We go backstage. We're watching Rock and Foley, the Rock and Sock Connection. They're drawing plays up like they're a Madden coach, like a football coach. They're drawing plays on the play, on the, on the, on the, on the scoreboard, on the playbook. Doesn't matter on the whiteboard. They got to defeat the Undertaker and Stone Cold Steve Austin tonight. They're gonna do whatever it takes for them to do it. But first, we move on. We're building up to this SmackDown United States Elimination Chamber match. I forgot to add someone in this promo, Chad. Who did I forget to add? Probably the sixth guy. Kurt Henning. You're right. Oh. What do you mean, oh? Oh. Who wins this match, Chad? Uh, John Cena yeah. wins this match. <laughs> yeah, John Cena wins this match. Oh, I skipped it. Oh, well, we'll never know. <laughs> um... Well, I'll talk about this. Go to the return booking screen and see how it did, and then we go into the Teddy Hart chat. We like we like like I said earlier well, tonight. You skipped the whole match. We didn't even see the match. I, I thought you messed up. No, I match. skipped the whole booking. No, I skipped the whole match. Oh. It's gone. Teddy Hart and Chad Callier. Chad. Well, I'll tell you who should win this match, but you're being an asshole when it comes to the booking. <laughs> what do you of Chad mean I'm Collier. being an asshole? You're Chad. being an asshole with the booking of Chad Collier. Why? So I'm gonna say Teddy Hart wins this. He's getting made fun of, but about it should be Chad. He's getting made fun of because he got eliminated and he's pouting because he's a bitch. When those guys haven't pouted once and they're never on TV. No, they're bitches. Well, I'm going to say Teddy Hart wins, but I'm, in, I'm doing it in protest. Oh, Chad's saying it in protest. Well, let's go back. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got an 88, by the way. Um, John Cena winning. Nice. Uh, Teddy Hart defeating Chad Collier after a distraction from Big Rig Fig once again. Yeah, that guy sucks. What, Big Rig Fig? But both him and Teddy Hart. They both suck. <laughs> a, big ri- a big win, and they start brawling, Chad. I mean, I mean, Fig destroys Chad Collier. No. <laughs> the burial. It's the burial. Why are you burying Chad Collier? We move on backstage. Brock Lesnar's being asked by Kevin Kelly. Ke- Brock, you now know... Not only do you know who you're facing at WrestleMania, you went out there and you made a statement and you F5'd Sean Stasiak. Are we going to be in the same... Uh, is this going to be, WrestleMania going to be the same thing as we saw at SummerSlam 2000 when you utterly destroyed Sean Stasiak and put him on the shelf for eight months? Brock Lesnar said, if Sean knows what's good for him, he'll quit this company right now. We move on, Chad. Yeah, quit the company. It's Edge. And Christian, the newlyweds, taking on Dynamo, Chad. Kaiji Muto and Jushin Liger. The, the, for what Jushin Liger called the honeymoon hangover has kind of robbed them a little bit. You know, they haven't really been in tag team action in a few months, even though they're tag team champions. Edge lost a crucial one-on-one match a couple weeks ago against Jushin Liger. And you know what? Christian's riding the high of him getting a kiss from his wife. Been piped. Is that gonna is that gonna carry on through this match, or is Dynamo gonna become new Raw Tag Team Champions? I feel like this is another one that could go either way, um, but I'm gonna go with Dynamo for the upset. Chad's going with the upset. I don't like how that's an upset. I feel like I just because it's Edge and Christian. That yeah, is true. The two the 2001 Tag Team of the Year. Right. Well, in a great match, Edge and Christian get the win after Lexi Fife kisses Christian Cage on his hot tag. Huh. And he's like, oh, hell yeah, brother. Boom, ba, ba. Oh, boom, boom, ah, boom, ah, boom, boom. Ah, ba. Oh, ah, mm, ah, mm, mm. That was me punching everyone. Yeah, that sounds like you're at a nightclub. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> a big win for Edge and Christian over a Dynamo here. And in 99, Chad, huge match right here. But now that, that we only have two matches left to go, Chad. Sure. We only have two matches to go. And they, st- you know, another kiss here, Chad. <laughs> Another kiss. Edge gets a kiss on the cheek. No. Good, good, wholesome moment here from Edge Christian and Christian's wife, Lexi Fife. But we now move on 
It's the Intercontinental Championship held inside a elimination chamber. PJ Black is hurt. He's coming in here with a, a neck brace after some mysterious member, uh, some mysterious guy left a note in the GM's office, not even the GM's, PJ's office, and said, elimination chamber. And other guys got getting added in. And, and then Masawa, remember last week on Raw? Was it last week on Raw? Yes, it was last week on Raw. Choked out and Tiger drives PJ Black on the steel entrance ramp. PJ Black said he's still medically cleared and he will get into this match, Chad. Who do you got winning this belt? Um, I'm going to say PJ Black retains, even Ooh. though he's hurt. PJ Black retaining. Well, Chad, in an, an unbelievable match, Triple H. Is your new champion? He eliminates PJ Black first. Don't read all of that because I can't. I can't pick the guys. So PJ Black gets hurt. I mean, he's hurt, and he gets pedigreed instantly. Like, yeah, Triple H is probably the logical choice. Triple H was gonna be my. That's why I took so long is because Triple H is gonna be the first guy I said. But I said, eh, that's the boring pick. I'm gonna is. go PJ Black. And yeah, I feel like there's no boring pick here, Chad. Yeah, Triple H winning is kind of boring, but why is that boring? Because I mean, he's Triple H. It's to be expected. Yes, but he, he, fight, he pins Randy Orton to the end of the match, though, Chad. Well, you told me not to look at any of that. So well, no. that is fair. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> run, I'm gonna run with that. All right, all right. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so Triple H, your new Intercontinental Championship, a hellacious match. Orton took a bump. Uh, Dean Malenko threw him. No, actually, Dean Malenko, Nick Gage climbed from under the steel structure. You know, and there was a little trap door. He came through and stabbed Randy Orton with a fork, Chad. Oh, jeez. And then Brian Danielson got a Mark Henry speared through one of the pods. It's wild. Unbelievable. It was a hellacious ma uh, match, but a big win for Triple H. A 99 here, Chad. It's a big win. Triple H celebrating here to end that. And now we move on, Chad. It's the finale. It's your No Way Out main event. It's Rock and Austin. It's Taker and Foley. A, to a story old as my butthole. Austin beat the streak at last year's WrestleMania. Sent Taker on a little bit of, ooh, where am I? Mental health gimmick, whatever. Taker comes back, challenges Austin to hell in a cell, and Austin beats him and sends him to hell. What's going on? Taker comes back, wins at the Royal Rumble. Setting up Taker and Austin. But Austin, during all this... The last few months had a feud with Rock and Foley, which has led Rock and Foley to beat down Austin, and Taker saved Stone Cold Steve Austin, which has now led to these two men teaming up against each other to take on Rock and Foley. Chad, who do you got? Uh, Steve Austin and the Undertaker. Oh man, he's the world champion, the number one contender. They can't lose. They could lose. They could, but that'd be stupid. That would be. And you're not stupid. Yeah, 98 here. Rock and Austin, a Rock and a Rock and Foley lose to Stone Cold and the Undertaker here in 2306, with Austin pinning Rock with a stunner, Chad, and that they stare down, and the camera pans to the WrestleMania sign. One another rematch. A rematch from last year, Austin and Taker to main event, WrestleMania 18. It's huge. That's huge. That's no way out, Chad. A 98. 98. It's going to be tough to beat. You know, we competed with last year's 98. That's all I wanted to do with because, you know, you're not, you're not pulling a 98. You can pull out a 96. I'll be happy with the 96 for you. Mm -hmm. But I don't think you're pulling out a 98. We'll have to see We'll have to see. Chad, we'll, 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 we'll see for Chad. Everybody, make your predictions down low. Does Chad beat a 98? I don't think everybody thinks I do, but that's why I like people. I like being the underdog. Ah, Chad loves being the underdog. Yeah. We'll see you. You're the villain of the save. And I'm the uh, I'm sorry. spunky underdog. <laughs> why, is, why am I the villain? Because, because Cause you can't book great? Right? the villain. I'm the spunky underdog. I have four, underdog I have four like company of the years. I'm the hero. You're the, you're, the, you're the New York Yankees. What are you, the Baltimore Orioles? I'm the, I'm the plucky underdogs. Name a team. The, the, the plucky underdogs? Yeah. Yeah, I'm the Baltimore Orioles. That's crazy. We'll see you for the Super Brawl. All right, we are here with Super Brawl, Justin. And, oh, this reminds me, I can change the venue. I forgot to do that. Yeah. So we are in the Pepsi Center in Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Here we are. And, uh, yeah, I would recap what's going on in the show, but I got pre-booking that I don't want to be spoiled. So we're there not going to do that.
So we're just, just going to jump. Out we're just going to jump right in. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. So these are the pre-show. So, but in our pre-show match, we've got Perry Saturn taking on Chris Hero, and in a, a decent pre-show match. Perry Saturn defeated Chris Hero uh, with the Death Valley Driver, and Perry Saturn makes defense number three of the WCW World Television Championship. Mm -hmm. So good for Perry Saturn. Yeah. Our next one, we're getting the rematch for the Cruiserweight Tag Team titles in the pre-show. we got the Cologne Brothers taking on the Hardy Boys. Uh, and a decent pre-show match, the Hardy Boys defeated the Cologne Brothers when Jeff pinned Eddie with an Omega event. Okay. So, not going to lie to you, booked this in the pre-booking, and then... Uh, what, forgot about it, so then I was like, oh, I just won't do it. And then I was like, ah, well, I should probably just do it. So they had the rematch today. So, stop squeaking. Sorry. Your chair sucks. And we are here. We've got a video package hyping up the show, Justin. We've got all of the big matches. We got Brett Samoa Joe. We got Regal Suzuki. We got Jericho Michaels. We got Goldberg Stardust. Jericho Sting, Mike, Rey Mysterio. Jericho and Ahmed, I guess. Or, yeah, yeah, best of the best versus the click. Shawn Michaels and Kip James. My, my apologies, but... And Justin, we're going to start off with our first match proper. Justin, we are starting with the Iron Man match. Bret Hart versus Samoa Joe. Who do you have to open the show? Uh, Bret Hart. Yeah, Bret Hart. Interesting. Justin says Bret Hart. And an exceptional match, Justin. You are correct. Bret Hart defeated Samoa Joe in an Iron Man match uh, by two falls to one. And Bret Hart makes defense number two of the WCW World Heavyweight title. Okay. So, that's I have a problem with your flow of booking. It's okay. Listen, it's just, a thirty man to start the crowd off. Yeah, this it's is gonna a, kill the crowd. Nah, this crowd was this crowd was lit for this, brother. You don't put that at the end because then they're gonna be bored. They're gonna be burnt out from the rest of the show. That's so not true. you open with it. No, that's not true. But nonetheless, Justin, our next you, one. You open with a, a nice big ten minute match. Well, we got Debbie Malenko. What's she doing? And she's here and she says, I've beaten every women's champion that's on our active roster. And there's really no one else to beat. So I'll tell you what. I'll just have an open women's championship challenge to any single woman on the roster. So, Justin, who do you think... Four matches in to this show and two open challenges are who do you think? Who do you think steps up to the plate to challenge Debbie Malenko? Can't be Beth because she was the last pay-per-view. Can't be Toyota. Can't be Charmel. Can't be Cutie. Who else is on this fucking roster that we do? Can't be Trish. That leaves like that leaves like Lita and Tori. Yeah. So Lita, because you, 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 you wouldn't go Tori because she's not good. And it was Lita, and about that decent wrestling but little heat, Debbie Malenko defeats Lita in 1457 by submission, and Debbie Malenko makes defense number five of the WCW Women's Title. Look at, w, look at Lita getting getting a shot at the women's championship, and Justin. Put your phone down and talk no, to the mic. No, I've got them. I've got the list of the matches. We're good. The mic's right here. I let talk loud. You're fine. Um, so Justin, there was a match. There were a couple matches added to the pay per view uh, this week on WCW.com, and one of them was Bobby Roode asked for a shot at Lance Storm and Tyson Duke. Because of course, if you remember, they yeah. took out Eric Young. I barely remember because and, it was a couple weeks ago. And he says, and he says, you know, I've been trying to. Get my hands on them. I've been trying to get up, but they've been dodging me. They haven't been showing up to the shows, so I want a one-on-two handicap match tonight to beat to, to, to get some payback on Eric Young. So Justin, Eric who Young's do you? Not even in it. Well, yeah, he's gonna get some payback for Eric Young. Oh, he said on Eric Young. So Justin, who do you have? Bobby Roode versus Tyson Dudley. Bobby, Bobby Roode. Well, you got that. Well, Justin, that is the correct pick. Bobby Roode versus the new team called Payback. Lance Storm and Tyson new, Duh. New team and losing a handicap match. <laughs> What's going on To here, Bobby Roode. Uh, cool. So there's that. And now just in the, ux, the extra, the other match that was added is a six-man tag. The Wild Boys taking on the Hollies and Fit Finley. Who do you who do you who do you have in that match? I wonder who's gonna win this one. The guys that have looked like chumps the last month and a half, or the new cool debuting team from NXT. I'm gonna go with the Wild Boys. The Wild Boys. That is an excellent, interesting pick. Got to oh, 61, right. and in a poor match, Chuck Palumbo and the Wild Boys defeat Fit Finley and the Hollies when Dave Batista pinned Crash Holly with a sit-up power bomb. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Chuck, uh, Batista getting a 42, Palumbo getting a 51, and Ken Anderson getting a 36. So. That's not good. That's not good, but they're getting there. They're yeah. getting there. Yeah, I guess so. They are getting there. They are getting there, and pay-per-view ones like this will help. Yeah, I guess. 
After the match, Ken Anderson, he grabs the microphone and falls from the ceiling of the uh, of the arena, and he says, Your winners, the Wild Boys! So the Wild Boys defeat the Hollies and fit Finley, Justin. Okay. We have here a backstage angle. Chris Candido, he's like, Shane Helms, listen, I know I told you I was going to be cheering you on, I was going to be rooting for you, but guess what? I'll have an up-close-and-personal seat, because guess what, Shane? I, I spoke... To the higher ups, I, I spoke to to Ted DiBiase. I spoke to Billy Kidman, and I told them how much you and Lodi wanted this to be a triple threat. And they said, "You know what? What a great idea!" So I went and I made it a triple threat match. And Shane's like, "Chris, what are you doing? I didn't ask for that." He's like, "It's fine. It's fine. It's fine." Listen, like I said, there's two of us versus Lodi. We'll be fine. All right, we'll be fine. So Justin, Chris Candido got himself went behind Shane's back and had him added to the match Lodi. in a triple threat match. Well, that match is not next. Uh, but what is next is Unexpected Excellence versus Hoovitude and Super Crazy for the tag team titles. And remember, the winners get the belts and the losers disband as a tag team. Uh, Super Crazy and Hoovitude. That is an interesting... Probably nicer to have Owen and Raven as singles, guys. That is an interesting pick. And a good match, Hoovitude and Super Crazy defeat the Unexpected Excellence uh, in a False Count Anywhere match when Hoovy pinned false Raven. Count anywhere? When was... Did you announce that? Uh, that? I think I pre-booked it, but never announced it. But So I, ignore I, that, but yeah, sure, that's fair. But Hoovitude pins Raven Four with a gimmicks. 450 splash, <laughs> uh, and Raven sustained a fractured cheekbone. Oh, nice. So there's that. All but right. Hoovy and Super Crazy, new tag team champions, brother. I'm not worried about this pay-per-view anymore. Thank you. After the match, uh, Raven with his fractured cheekbone grabs a microphone, and he says, Owen... If this is our last night teaming together, I just want to let I just want to let you know, you know, I, when we when we teamed, I, I I had my my doubts. I didn't think we'd be able to to coexist. I didn't like you, you didn't like me, but I feel like we we gained a respect and even a friendship. So I just want to say, Owen, it's been real fun, and and I appreciate you, and and thank you, and whatever you do next, I I know you're gonna absolutely kill it. And Raven goes to extend a handshake to Owen, and Owen looks, and he reaches his hand out, and he pulls Raven in for a hug, and they're hugging Justin. And then as they're getting ready to leave, Raven turns around, and Owen jumps him from behind and mm. beats down Raven. Okay. Why? Owen turned on his former tag team partner, Justin. Why would he not? But why would he? He's Owen Hart. Good guy, Owen. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, but Justin, after that, we now, it is the uh, the new triple threat match of Shane Helms, Low D, and Chris Candido. Okay. And you said you picked Lodi? Yeah. All right, well, we'll see if you're right. And in a decent match, Lodi defeated Shane Helms and Chris Candido in 1441 when Lodi pinned Chris Candido with an aerial brain buster, and Lodi makes defense number two of the WCW Cruiserweight title. Yep. So, uh, remember, uh, so Chris Candido was the one that got pinned. Oh, I forgot to skip. Don't look at this. Pick, make your pick. A Benoit versus AJ. Benoit. Well, you didn't have to look. You would have gotten this right anyway. Yeah. Uh, it is Chris Benoit versus AJ Styles. Got a 90. After that, Chris Benoit grabs a microphone and he says, I'm the best goddamn wrestler in this company in the world and I'm the best goddamn champion and I don't care about what happened in this week because guess what? I wanted to prove that I was better than Shannon Moore. So Shannon Moore, get your ass out here because I'm going to wrestle you tonight too. So Justin, we got Shannon Moore versus Chris Benoit. Two title defenses in one night for Chris mm -hmm. Benoit. Will that will that come mm. into play here? Will Shannon Moore pick him off? Nope. Now he's tired. You know, you're going to say Chris Benoit still? No, oh, no. Benoit will win. And you were correct. And about that subpar wrestling and great heat, Chris Benoit defeated Shannon Moore in 1948 with a dragon suplex. And Chris Benoit makes defense number 24 of the WCW United States heavyweight title. Good for Chris Benoit, brother. <laughs> great. Uh, our next match is in Sting versus Rey Mysterio. Who do you have? Oh, this is the first one I don't know. Everything else has been so predictable. <sighs> sting. You're going to say Sting. Interesting. Why? I don't know. I just think... Uh, you just turn Sting heel. There's no point in him losing two months after the heel turn. It just doesn't make sense. That's a good point. And about that super wrestling great heat, Sting defeated Rey Mysterio with a Scorpion Death Drop after blatantly cheating. Yeah. New so. heel turn. Yeah. You don't like him lose yet. Not on Super Bowl. Not on a B-rated pay-per-view. Correct. Uh, Justin, our next match is Goldberg versus Stardust for the Money in the Bank briefcase. Who do you have? Oh, Goldust. You're going to say Stardust. Goldberg, sorry, I sorry. misspoke. Goldberg. No, I thought I said Goldberg. But Goldberg. Goldberg. But 
Well, I think that is a wild choice. We will see. And an exceptional match. Goldberg defeated Stardust in 939 with a spear. Nine minutes. And Damn. Goldberg makes defense number two of the WCW Echo Money in the Bank title. 15. Nine minute matches are capped at 90. Justin, our next match, we've got the Immortal Gentlemen versus the Dudley Boys for the tag team titles. Who do you have? This, this because you you make people look like chumps, right? Mm -hmm. You made the Dudleys look like absolute buffoons going into this. So the Immortal Gentlemen will win this match. You're gonna think that? Yeah, there's no way you make those guys lose, lose, and then. Think, well, like yeah, I well, said, well, when you're tag team specialist, Justin, sometimes singles matches, you know, it's not the same as tag yeah, team. But I know you're you gotta win when it matters. You gotta win when booking. it counts. I know you're booking. And then about that wow. great wrestling, good heat. The Dudley Boys defeat the Immortal Gentlemen when Bubba Ray pinned the Gentleman Chase Tatum in de with a Dudley Death Drop, and the Dudley Boys make defense number seven of the WCW tag team titles. Was that the original plan? That was the original plan. They were always gonna win. Hmm. They gotta prove, Justin. They are trying to be the best tag team in the world. Uh, they're not going to lose to Hulk, the old man Hulk Hogan and Chase Tatum. Chase Tatum won World War III. That's not... A, I'm, just, I'm just saying in the eyes of the Dudley boys. In the eyes of the Dudley boys. Yeah, I guess. But Justin, we have our next match. We've got Minoru Suzuki versus Steven Regal. So and a last man standing. Co yes, the co-main. Yes. I can't believe you're a tag team. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Imagine Roman Brock co-maining... <laughs> WrestleMania for fucking. Well, this isn't WrestleMania. Uso's this is Super day. Brawl. I'm just saying. But who do you got? Um, uh, fucking Suzuki. You got Suzuki. I'll tell you, the match was very long. They brought all over the place. There were chair spot. There were there were weapon spots, a uh, table spots. Uh, Steven Regal. No matter what punishment Suzuki gave him, he just kept coming. He would not stay down. There were many times where there was a count of nine for both people, and they both kept getting up. And, you know, right when all was, you know, right when you you were like, oh, is Steven Regal going to do it? Because is Steven Regal going to do it? Taka Michinoku got involved, Justin, and cost Steven Regal. And in about that super wrestling great heat, Minoru Suzuki defeats Steven Regal in a last man standing match. When Steven Regal cannot beat the 10 count, uh, yep, Taka attacked Steven Regal. Um, so, Justin, Minoru Suzuki, he's celebrating in the ring. Uh, but he went through a battle. He's broken down. He's beaten but he's celebrating his win. But then, Justin, Goldberg comes out with the money oh, in the no. bank briefcase. He spears Minoru Suzuki, goes to the referee and says, I'm cashing in my money in the bank. Ring ring the bell, and we start this match. Goldberg versus Suzuki, Justin. Who do you got? Goldberg. You got Goldberg. Interesting choice. And an exceptional match. Goldberg defeated Minoru Suzuki in 552 by pinfall with a spear, and Goldberg makes defense. Or Goldberg wins the WCW Universal title. So good for Goldberg. Yeah. You know, he said he was going to cash in Money in the Bank on Suzuki because Suzuki cost him Money in the Bank. Yep. He said he was going to, and he that did. Makes, that makes sense. Yep. Uh, Justin, which means our main event. Surprised he didn't do it earlier. These two teams have been feuding all what? month. Uh, one quite literally shaved one man's hair. We got the best of the best versus the click in the ultimate blow-off. Justin, who do you have? I don't care. Who uh, do you have? Sean. You got Shawn Michaels and, and Kip James. I'm still pissed off that Jericho still has hair. <laughs> and about that superb wrestling great heat, Shawn Michaels oh, and Kip James defeat Jericho and Ahmed in 1455 when Shawn Michaels pinned Ahmed what with sweet happened? chin music. So, How long did that go? Six, eh, did you make it 14 or 15? It went 15 minutes. It went 15 minutes. It went 15 minutes. So... And then after the match, Shawn Michaels and Kip James, they Cut too sweet. They, they too they sweet. No, they just too sweet in the ring. <laughs> they too sweet in the ring to celebrate their win. Oh, my God. Their big win. And we finish out Super Brawl Justin with a 90. Well, we didn't beat. Didn't we didn't. I mean, 97, so. Close. So maybe I could have moved some things around. We had a very solid middle pay per view, but our middle of the match, like bangers. But Your, your main event, guys. Are just not my main event guy. I mean, to be fair, Brett and Samoa Joe banged. I I didn't think but that was going to do that good. It got like a 95, I think. Let me look. Yeah, 95? Yeah, that opened. Yeah, it did open. <laughs> what I'm well, I know what I'm saying, though. Like, that, you know, I mean, yeah, main I event guys like, can go. I just, you know. They're not getting 99s, 100s, though. But, Jericho can. But who knows? Sean can. That could change soon. Brett can. Who knows? Who knows? Owen but, Hart's a singles guy now. You know, oh, I've, I've been looking at Owen's stats. He's not there anymore. He's, yeah, I will show you after this. His stats are deteriorating really quickly. Because well, he's getting older. He's like he's gonna, 36. Brad's he's six years older. He's going to be a solid. Well, he might be a solid mid card guy, but that's okay. 
Yeah, it's, we'll I, see. I was looking like that's, that's that's something you need to look into right now and figure out what you need to do with Owen because no. the fact that his stamina is at like a fifty already is not good. Yeah, but that was Super Brawl. We will we we hope you guys enjoyed. I think it was a good show. We got a new Universal Champion Goldberg. Damn. So big, big day, big show, and we will see you guys next time.